Embedded in the heart of Johannesburg is the Maboning precinct, known for its electrifying culture of fashion, music and art. Today we'll be exploring the city's best kept secret, focusing on African antique. We'll be speaking to a lady who specializes in that and runs a reputable family business. Join us as we speak to her to learn more about her craft and her personal journey. I'm Barbara Lebohang Lombard, born and brought up in Soweto. Um, I've had an opportunity to work locally and work overseas. I've, ha I've, I've been very lucky in life in terms of schooling. Um, I studied as a nursing sister. I progressed. I've held various executive positions. And I'm currently sitting on a few boards, one of them being the International Women's Forum, the the Riavaya. The antique or vintage industry is all about attaching values to items discarded or sold by previous owners. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but for Barbara, it is an art she has mastered. The artists we have, we just connect what's appealing to the art. We also are connecting according to our client's needs. We do get feedback from the client and they tell us exactly the type of pieces they would like to see and have. If location is the secret ingredient for successful retail, she finds herself where Joburg's factory workers meet the hipsters of Maboneng, every salesperson's dream or nightmare. We refurbished the chair. Obviously we did the chair, the, the, the cushion, and then we had to redo the frame. It's, it's a bit delicate, so if not looked after very well, it could have a problem. That's where the repurposing comes in. A butler tray for high teas, of course. The bed throw over there, it is beautiful. It is silk. Mm. It is it is amazing. It's a collection you will never find. And those are the pieces that people come into the store for. They know they'll find something that is completely different and that nobody else has. What, what do we have here? It's a drinks trolley and we have vintage wine as well. Look at this one. Look at the years. It is so old. You know, if you look at the price, I think in those days it was 25 rands. It's possibly 2,500 rands now. It takes a certain degree of chutzpah to make this business work, and Barbara Lombard has it by the bucket load. secret has been revealed we got to learn a little bit more about one of the city's influential entrepreneurs in the true essence of women's month Lemohang Fuke for 8 and 7 Maboneng Johannesburg